Can you say good morning? Where's Sebastian? Good morning! Or good afternoon! Or good evening wherever you are! We have something really exciting planned for this video. Um, Sebastian is 20 months old today and he's been stable. He's been really good, really healthy. His heart is doing okay. So we talked to his cardiologist and we are going to start trying to wean his oxygen here at home. So I'm going to take you along with us in that process and kind of show you what it takes and what happens and what we do, what we look for. Yeah, that's right. Are you so excited? Yeah, hi. Are you saying hi? Hi, everybody. Yes, you're so smart. And Sebastian's oxygen compressor. As you can maybe see, he's on a little under one liter right now. So one liter of oxygen. And what we're gonna do for the next hour is take him down to a half a liter, which looks like that. And we are gonna go put his pulse ox on to see how his heart kind of handles that. What do you think? See, he's constantly kind of pulling his oxygen, yep, up out of his nose, and he does fine. So because he goes kind of, you know, a couple minutes here and there um, without oxygen, I had sent his cardiologist an email, and I'm like, you know, maybe we're ready to try to start weaning him. Maybe he's pulling it off because he doesn't need it. So we got approval, and she said if we want to try to go ahead and try so what i'm gonna do next is put sebastian's pulse ox on his foot so we can monitor um his oxygen levels his heart rate look for stressors things like that um sebastian for the way that his heart is right now he should technically be um at an oxygen level of 85 or above really anything above like 82 83 is acceptable um, and then anything under 75 is a danger zone for him um, it just means that his body isn't tolerating it very well so we are gonna see how he's looking right now he's on a half a liter um, and we'll leave him on half a liter for about an hour before we actually take him off and just put him on room air um, and we'll kind of see how he does are you ready yeah? Oh my goodness, look at your hair. You're crazy. <laughs> One hour later. What do you think? Hi. Hi. Are you doing so good? Yeah? He's still monitoring. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. What do you think, Zeus? Unbothered. You looking at the baby? Yeah, okay. The process of weaning just takes weeks and weeks. Um, just getting him used to being without oxygen. Um, you know, he's had it for his whole life. It's a year and a half, almost two years old in October. So, you know, this kind of becomes a comfort to him. He's used to having it there. So when we take it away initially, um, he does get a little like confused, a little nervous, and then he kind of forgets it's there. And when I notice that he forgets it's there, his anxiety and stress of, you know, looking for that goes away and his saturations remain in a healthy range. So that's kind of what we're looking for. What do you think about that room air? What is this stuff? What is this stuff? I know. So our plan is to just kind of do this all day. Um, we'll give him a little break in between. You know, we'll go like 
in one hour we'll do 10 minutes without oxygen and then you know the next hour we'll give them oxygen and then the hour after that we'll do 20 minutes without any oxygen just to kind of see you know what his tolerance level is at um, and obviously with advice through his cardiologist and just things like that um, if he gets to a point where he's tolerating you know a full hour that's when we take it this thing gets a little crazy sometimes reset we're all good so once he gets to a point where he's handling you know one to two hours back to back that's kind of when we can push it for more of a permanent change um, but for me personally until he's gone like days and days and weeks um, with no oxygen continuously through the day um, I still think at night in car rides I think for nighttime and car rides, we will definitely keep his oxygen on him. So this looks like a true desat to me, because it would have reset by now. What do you think? So when he's having a desat like that, um, what I look for in him is discoloration. I'm not seeing any modeling. It doesn't look to me like he's working harder to breathe. He looks very calm, right? Yeah, everything is looking good. And then he pops right back up. So that's just his body adjusting. As far as um, therapies and things like that without oxygen, I don't think that I'm comfortable um, like having him do a PT session or a speech or occupational therapy session without his oxygen at this point, just because, you know, the process of weaning is it needs to be a very controlled environment. Hello. Hi. And having him do work, you know, like working out, it's increasing his heart rate and things like that. Um, I don't think it would be fair to him to try to go through those things without having his oxygen. Um, so it's obviously a very controlled process and we like to do it when he's relaxed like this um, Just because we'll be able to kind of train his heart a little bit and give him a better chance at um, Having a good weaning process, right? What do you think? What do you think? Who are you looking for? Yeah, that's the window right there You can see the daylight yeah, the sun's shining out there. Maybe we'll go for a walk later. We'll take this pupper. What do you think? And then go for a walk later? He's so lazy. We're about 30 minutes in to being on just room air, no oxygen. And he's doing pretty good. Those are really, really beautiful sats. Um, in my eyes, those are acceptable. Really anything, like I said earlier, above 85 is acceptable for him. But being at 94, um, that's a really, really beautiful number for being on room air. So I'm really happy about that. You feel okay? His color is good. He's got nice pink hands, nice pink toes. His legs aren't showing any mod modeling. He's not breathing hard. No retracting. He doesn't look stressed to me. He's still able to smile and play, which tells me, you know, he's feeling pretty good. Right? Look at that cute little nose. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love your nose. And I love your cheeks without these cords on them. I love your cheeks. Yes. So this is what we're going to do for the rest of the day. We're just going to go back and forth between um, trying oxygen and taking it off, putting it back on, keeping it off. Maybe we'll do some sitting up. You know, it's a little bit harder for him to sit up. It takes a little bit more muscle work. So um, just that little bit of extra strength he's trying to use to sit himself up. We'll see um, how he does sitting up and just breathing room air all right guys i think that's it for this video nice and short simple to the point if you have any questions comment below thanks for following along yes 
Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. We appreciate all of the love. Um, it's been a joy bringing you guys on this journey with us. Really, it's our pleasure, and we're so thankful for each and every single one of you. Right? Yeah. Do you have anything to say? Anything to say at all? Are you going to say something? Can you say bye? Bye? No bye-byes? Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, guys. We will catch you at the next one. Can you say bye, Zeus? Do you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, bye bye. Are you gonna tell them? Mm -hmm. Yeah.